In this lesson, we're going to create a soccer ball using the for each loop in Houdini. To start, we're going to get a platonic solid object, place it at the origin, and change it into a soccer ball. This gives us the shape that we could use, but all the different faces are all flat, which isn't going to give us a nice round soccer ball. So what we need to do is add more detail to it. We're going to start by taking a subdivide node and subdividing this. We're going to add a depth of 2. Now this is not perfectly round as you can see, it's a little bit bumpy. So what we want to do is project it out onto a circle to get a nice round shape. We're going to use a ray node, so let's put one down and bring in a sphere. Let's change the radius of the sphere to better match the size of the soccer ball. And we'll plug the sphere into the ray sop. So now we have a nice round soccer ball. The next step we want to do is poly extrude out the shapes of the soccer ball. So if we're going to take all the different shapes and poly extrude them, we're going to run into some issues. We either extrude everything, or we can try to extrude individual elements. But then we're not getting those soccer ball patches that we want either, because there's too much geometry than we actually want. But with Houdini, we can go back and use the original soccer ball geometry to give us some clues into how we're going to do this. We're going to go in and add a for each loop. These are essentially two nodes that set up the beginning and end of a loop. Now initially, there's nothing going on, so we don't get a result. What we need for this for each loop is it to be working in conjunction with the original primitives of the soccer ball platonic solid. So we're going to create an attribute create node and make an attribute called primitive number. What this is going to do is take the individual numbers of the soccer ball patches and assign them to the geometry as primitive attributes. We're going to use $PR, which grabs those primitive numbers and puts them in place. So once we've done that, we can go down to the for each loop and add in primnum. And now the soccer ball comes back, but we're not really doing anything to it. So what we want to do is take the poly extrude node and drag it over. And now you'll see that we're getting each patch being pushed out individually. Let's change the distance to 0.05 and make it a bit bigger, and maybe inset it slightly to 0.02. And there we go. Okay, this looks a little bit hard edged. If we go in and render it, you'll see the sharp edges there. So what we can do is go up one level, and under the Render tab, enable Render Polygons as Subdivision. So we'll get more nice rounded shapes. Of course, we can always go inside to tweak the parameters of, say, the Poly Extrude node to get something more appropriate. We'll change the distance to 0.02 to get a more soccer ball look. Or we can make it look more stitched, so we can take the distance and make it go in deeper by changing the inset value to negative 0.01. So now the soccer ball is more leathery looking. So as you can see, this was all made possible through the use of the for each loops inside Houdini.